No, this. Oh, D, 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 D. Yeah, I think his controller is disconnected. D, I think it's off. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. Ha batido justo. Gente arriba, tuya, aquí. Me gana con la bandera, pedazo de. Gran persona. ¿Cómo está disparando, bro? Aquí, tres. No. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hope you're not live. <laughs> I hope you're not live. I still am on there. Come on. Yeah. What I needed in my life right now. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, bro. Uh what the f so season two is still about a month away or so we're looking at the end of february for the start date of that but we recently got a pretty big hint towards what we'll be seeing in season two now for those of you that don't remember uh warzone came out in march of last year i believe it was march 3rd and that is when the new warzone map is rumored to come out i don't know about march 3rd but sometime around that one year anniversary for warzone and recently in Cold War, a new map was released for Dirty Bomb called Sanatorium. Now, this map is gigantic. Like, it is absolutely huge. And this is going to be yet another part of the new Warzone map, along with Alpine and Ruka, which are also Dirty Bomb maps. Now, as you can see, people have been glitching to the very top of Sanatorium. You can literally see everything. You can see the whole map. You can see outside the map. You can see other sections outside the map and this kind of gives me a, a blackout map kind of vibe but the first time I played it I instantly thought blackout but yes this is gonna be part of the new map the question I have for you is once Verdansk is gone are you gonna miss it personally I, I think it's really time for a new map besides that let's go ahead and get back into our highlights Clean kill. Enemy UAV overhead. 